Hello YouTube and hello viewers and welcome back to yet another episode of creating a 2D side scroller in Unreal Engine 4. I want to thank all of you guys for the massive support you guys are giving me. I mean we've reached over 200 subscribers now which is absolutely amazing. Um, and I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me during this whole series. It's been absolutely amazing. I didn't think I'll even get this far. Um, so I really want to thank you guys for all the support. However, you're not here for me to say thank you all the time. You're here to actually learn. So what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at allowing our character, um, so the bad guy, um, so when he dies, so when the bad guy dies, what's going to happen is that he's going to spawn a random item into the world. Okay, now I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is going to be um, just spawning one item of your choice, so you could do that. Or we could look at um, dropping more than one item. Okay, so by random numbers. So basically what will happen is you'll put so much um, data into what they call an array, and we'll look at that in a minute. And basically we'll choose a random number between that array, um, and then it'll just drop that item that we want to have inside the array. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So switching over to the scene, we got quite far into this tour right now. Um, in our last session, we got to the point where our 2D side scroller was able to uh, shoot our character back. So the bad guy was sort of getting some intelligence. So if we got so close to him, he would then start shooting at our character. So what we're going to be working with in this session is we need to fix a few things um, in this session. I've already uh, prefixed it. Um, that's because I was just doing a bit of tinkering and stuff inside the level. But what I'd like you to do is, before we even start this session, is our blueprints here, um, some of them aren't correct, so we need to just fix a few of them um, before we start working with this. So first of all, I want you to open up your BP coins, and you should have um, your object node connecting to somewhere else down here. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure you connect your other actor to the object, um, and I want you to do the same for the health. So again, attach the other actor to the object. Okay, um, for the pumpkin, exactly the same thing. So other actor to object. Um, and also the spikes, other actor to object. It's, this is just so we keep consistency. Um, I did notice that um, I have been consistent with the um, blueprints that we have been doing. So I want to make sure that they do stay consistent and we don't come across any problems. Once you've completed that, so just pause the video for now, and then obviously once you've fixed all that, then resume the video. I then want you to now open up your BP Badman Blueprints, and this is where we're going to live for the rest of this tutorial. Okay? Now the idea is, is that when the Badman dies, we're going to spawn an item into the world on top of where the actor just died. Okay? So the, i.e. the actor being the Badman. So wherever he died, we then spawn the actor into uh, yeah, spawn an actor into the world. So straight away, we can see that we're going to work off our damage system because this is what holds the information about the health of the bad man. And it also tells us when he dies. So here's where he'll die on this destroy actor here. So we're going to work off this part here. So we're going to just drag a node off here, off our execution. Now it works the same way as how our bullet works. Okay. And remember to spawn our bullet in, we had to spawn what they call an actor's class. So we're going to spawn actor from class. Okay, so we're going to spawn the actor from class. Now, we have an issue because our bullet was a projectile and we were doing things like world transforming and stuff like that. This time we're not going to do that. It's one simple step. What we're going to do is we're going to get the actual actor location. And to do that, we just right click and say get actor lo location and there he is there so get the actor's location now you'll notice that we have two different outputs we have a vector and a transform now straight away you're gonna think Wayne you're crazy this is not gonna work all right but it will and I'll show you why if I, I can connect this together and it will convert my vector to the transform now, I'm going to show you just quickly how that works is because if I right click on this and split it, you can see now I have um, some vector values that we can use and rotation. This is going to be very important in future videos, okay? But for now, we're using these vectors here, okay? Now I want you to control Z because we don't want to plug into each individual one, okay? What we are going to do is just going to plug the return value into the spawn transform, and that will make 
a convert um, for our vector into our transform. And that's pretty much it. And now we can choose what we want to spawn into the world. So let's say, for example, when he dies, let's spawn in BP underscore health. Okay, so let's spawn our health blueprint into the world. Okay, so let's play that and let's see what happens. So let's just hope he doesn't kill us. So let's just shoot at him, do a bit of damage, obviously hopefully kill him. And there we go. So once he dies, spawns our, our heart into the world and we can collect that. And you can see that the system still works because that is the blueprint um, of our health. Okay, let's say, let's do another one. So let's say BP underscore, I'm oh, sorry about that, I hit my microphone. Um, BP underscore coins. Okay, so let's try that one. Compile, save and play. So let's just throw bullets at him. And there we go. So it will spawn a coin into our world and we can collect that coin, okay? We can even make him into a naughty drop where we can say BP underscore spikes, okay? Because we've got spikes in the world. So we can compile and save, play. So let's shoot at him. Oops, he's shooting at me. So let's shoot at him. And one more, and there we go. So he'll drop spikes in the world and these will hurt me. So I don't really want to stand on them. So if I touch that, that will then damage my character. So we can put whatever blueprints you have created, you can spawn them into the world if you like, okay? However, you're probably thinking, well, do I have to do each one individually or could I make it random? Well, here comes the fun part of the session, okay? We can tell Unreal, okay, that we're gonna make this thing called an array. Okay, now array basically means it's storage of more than one bit of information. And what we wanna store is we wanna store our actor information. So all the actors, so these blueprint actors, we wanna store them into an array and we wanna call them by number, okay? Now the number system, how it works is everything starts with the number zero, okay? So you have zero, one, two, three, and it, you can put as many as you like into that array. You could go crazy. I mean, you could have something like maybe 50 objects and you could say, all right, out of those 50, give me a random one out of those 50 items to drop to the player, okay? So to make the array, very, very simple. On our variables, we're gonna make a new variable and we're gonna call this, let's just call this item drop. Okay, so item drop. And we'll store all the items into this. Now, obviously it's not gonna be a Boolean because it's not true and false. And I said it's gonna be an array, but when you click on this variable type, there's nothing called an array, okay? Because an array is this cool little button here, okay? But we're not making a Boolean array because that makes no sense. Remember, we wanna have our things called actors. We want to make an actor array, okay? Now to do that, we're gonna to go to where it says uh, object types. So object types, uh, you could go into, um, yeah, just object types will do. Okay, so object types. I do know in different versions, there are different ways of doing this. In my current version, it's under object types. Then you'll find something called actor. Okay, now you can't just click on this and hope for the best. You'll notice that there's a few things that pop up on your left-hand side when scrolling over it. You've got, reference, class, asset ID, and class asset ID. What we want is to make a class, because remember, it's a class that we're connecting to. So here, right, so we're connecting to a class node. So actor, class, okay? Now it's not an array yet, because we need to click on this little toggle button, which will then give it all these dots next to the name, okay? So we compile that, and you'll notice now we can add some values into this array. So we just click on the plus and we're gonna choose our first item. So let's say BP underscore coins. Add another one. This is as easy as it gets. BP underscore health. Add another one. Uh, BP underscore health. Oh, we got that one. No, we don't want that one. Uh, BP underscore spikes. Okay, add another one. What else have we got? BP underscore pumpkin. There we go. So we'll have four, right? But notice it goes zero, one, two, three. Remember that please, okay? It doesn't start at one, okay? It'll always start at the number zero and work its way uh, to number three, okay? Now, it's very simple to do this. What we're gonna do 
is we're just going to compile and save. So now, now we've got all those elements inside our array. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to drag our array and we're going to say get. Okay. So we're going to get our array. Now we're going to do two gets here. All right. We're going to get this array here. Okay. And then we need to run a function to get the item. So you're going to drag off there and you're going to say get. So we're going to get a function. Okay. And now we've got something pretty cool. All right. We've got this node here, which is an integer. And remember, our values run between 0 and 3. Now, I could type in, okay, get number 2, okay, and put that into there. All right, so I'm just going to choose number 2, compile and save and play. Now, basically, what this will do is it'll give me number 2 in the array. Okay, so let's uh, keep shooting. And number 2 is the spikes. Let's just check. Click on the array. Number 2 is the spikes. Okay, so you can see number two is the spikes. But you're saying to me, well, Wayne, that's not random. I'm still having to put the value in there. Okay, well, Unreal, amazing program, is we can actually get a random number. So if we just right click and say random, now remember this is an integer, we can say random integer in range. Okay, so random integer in between a certain range of numbers. Okay, now our minimum is going to be zero because remember our, our array starts at number zero and our maximum will be three because that's how many we've got in the array. And basically what will happen is it's just going to automatically pick a number out of that array. So we're going to plug this into there. Okay, so we'll plug that one in. Let's compile and save and play. And let's see what happens. So let's see what we get now. So let's shoot at him, let's do some damage and we get a coin this time. Okay, so let's do that again. So play, I didn't touch anything. We're just going to play again. Hopefully it's not going to scam me and give me another coin. So we're just going to keep shooting at it. And this time we get a health. Okay, so you can see it's picking a random value between zero and three in our array, i.e. coins, health, spikes, and pumpkin. Obviously, if you have more in that array, you'll change your integer range. So from zero to maybe 50 depending on how many you have inside your inventory. And that's pretty much it. So we spawn on our actor, and now we can choose what we want inside the array. So just remember to make that array, um, I'll just do it again, so you just click on the plus, make sure you go to, we'll just turn that off so you can see, so make sure you go to object types, hover over actor, and make sure it's a class. Okay, and that way it will give you an array, you then put in the blueprints that you want in that array, okay? And then by default, so by a range here of what we choose, we'll then drop the item into our world. And that's it. That's pretty much it for this session. It wasn't much in, at all. It was pretty simple that we just spawn on the actor, grab any items we want in between those numbers, and obviously drops on top of the character. Thank you very much for joining me um, in this session. It's been great taking you for these tutorials. Uh, in our next session, we're going to look at um, getting our character to do a little bit more, so giving him a little bit more character, rest in, into his personality and things like that. So I hope to see you in the next video. Please do like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. Goodbye.